everyone. We are at Disney California Adventure for Oogie Boogie Bash, Disneyland's Halloween party. But we're so excited to get the night started and we can't wait to share some of it with you guys. Well, we made it in. Now we get to hang out in California Adventure for a little more than three hours before uh, Oogie Boogie Bash starts. I think the first thing on our list to do is to get some food. We have not eaten since we got breakfast this morning on the Disney Wonder. If you didn't watch our cruise vlogs, we're gonna link that playlist of those cruise vlogs down below in the description. And we got off the Wonder this morning. I think we got off around 9.30. We had breakfast in Animator's Palette. It was really simple. We got off the ship. We had planned on taking the Amtrak train from the Santa Fe station in downtown San Diego all the way to Anaheim, but they canceled that train because something happened to the tracks between there and here. Ended up getting a rental car at San Diego airport. Got in that car and drove to Anaheim to our hotel here. We're staying at the Best Western Park Place Inn and Suites right across the street from the entrance to Disneyland. So it was so close and so easy just to walk across the street and then we're in. Now that we're here, we're looking forward to all the fun we're gonna have here at California Adventure right before Oogie Boogie Bash starts. And just as we came into California Adventure, Spider-Man's about to do his tricks. As we were walking into California Adventure, we saw Spider-Man doing his stunt uh, right at the uh, front of Avengers Campus. So it was the first time Lindsay had seen it. She had missed it when we were here earlier this year. So that was kind of cool for her to be able to see that. We're super excited to be here at California Adventure and just enjoying the parks for a few hours before Oogie Boogie Bash starts. And right now, we're actually getting in line for some food because we have not eaten since we were on the Wonder this morning. So we're really hungry. So we're at Cucina Cucamonga and we ordered the quesadilla tacos. At least Carrie and I did. The girls got carne asada tacos. I'm really psyched because I've wanted to order this ever since they came out with it. And every time we visited, I just haven't been able to make it over here to try these. So. I am super pumped. These are good. I think it's like beef with melted cheese in the middle. It's like fried. It's amazing. So good. How's your carne asada? Good. I like it with the rice too. It's like cilantro flavored rice or something like that. The tacos at Cochina Cucamonga were really, really good. Uh, we made our way over to Incredicoaster. It's about an hour wait. Kind of what we expected. We don't have Genie Plus or anything like that today because we just got in the park right around 3 o'clock. The girls are having a little bit of fun while we're waiting. Well, this makes a lot of sense. We're playing heads up, Harry Potter version <laughs> here at DCA. All right, the girls are in the back of the train. Carrie and I are taking the very front car. Looking forward to getting on in Credit Coaster. It's been a while. We just finished in Credit Coaster, and one of our traditions after we ride in Credit Coaster the first time is to get Num Num Cookie. And I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get one Num Num Cookie to share, right? No! We're getting two. No. Two? Either we get two to share, or you get nothing. To get only one Num Num Cookie is a sin. Yes. Wow, that's pretty extreme, Lens. Unless you're by yourself, then you're fine. Yeah. Or should you get two if you're by yourself? <laughs> you might barf, but still. Worth it. Those look good. Lindsay's got the first bite. I think she's happy. <laughs> so good. Look at that. You guys are trying to make it all split down the middle. Hey, that doesn't look even. I don't like how even that looks, Alyssa. It's the best I could do. Uh, good job trying. You pick a side, I'll have the other. Wow. Of course, Alyssa chose the bigger side. It's okay. I'm a parent. I'm used to it. Older sister, I'm also used to it. Because we didn't get enough soft serve on the Wonder, we had to get some more soft serve. But this one is a lemon, that's about to fall over. <laughs> it's a lemon soft serve with like blue, blue raspberry, but we gotta eat that quick. It looks like it's about to fall over. This is gonna turn into a hot mess really fast. It's like the leaning tower of lemon soft serve. Where did we get this? <laughs> oh my no! This is gonna be a mess. I gotta put the camera down and go get a napkin. Brain freeze? Myself. <laughs> Your arms scream whatever it takes, and then all these things will uh, never mind. Wow. 
We just got off Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark, which is a special version of the ride this Halloween time. What'd you think, Alyssa? Was your first time doing it? Um, yeah, it was my first time doing it. It was really good. As scary as you thought it would be? Uh, no. Not, not as scary as I thought it would be. It wasn't that scary. You put your arms up, you let go of the seat? Yeah, it was my first time putting my arms up. It was Lindsay's first time too. What'd you think of the Monsters After Dark? The monsters? Like, I thought there was gonna be like a bunch of jump scares and stuff out of my Yeah, I saw you scream a few times. Okay, there was one time that it kind of scared me. But I really thought it was gonna be actually like, I would have nightmares after it. But it wasn't that it bad. It did say this might frighten like little children. So I thought it actually might scare me, but I didn't. Well, that's good. The party has started for Oogie Boogie Bash, and we are in our first tree trail. And where else should you start other than Oogie Boogie himself? We're gonna go see Oogie and steal some of his candy <laughs> and just have fun interacting with him. I think after this one, we're gonna maybe see Agatha, and then we're gonna go check out Villain's Grove, which the last time we came to Oogie Boogie Bash three years ago, we never did Villain's Grove. Well, so this is what kids consider scary these days. What do we have here? <laughs> Candy. Disgusting. I said you don't look as grubby as I thought you'd be. Nice. Well, we hung out with Oogie. It was really fun. Now we are in line to see Agatha Harkness over in Avengers Campus. We almost got a picture with Thor and Mighty Thor, but we just missed our chance with them. Alyssa would have loved that. But right now, can't wait to see Agatha and ask her if she's a puppy killer. Agatha went up to killing Sparky? She killed Sparky. Yes! Well, she's a villain, so you can't really trust her. And more candy, thank you. There's always a healthy section. Grapes. Great grapes. Ooh, I want some grapes. Healthy food. Thank you. Nice. After a lot of sugar and sweets and soft serve on the Disney Wonder, I'm liking me some grapes right now. Super glad that they do have some healthy options because honestly, that's probably what Carrie and I are going to eat most of the night. <laughs> Carrie and I are actually not going to be collecting candy because we're flying home tomorrow morning. If you saw any of our cruise vlogs, you would have seen that we collected a bunch of candy, four bags full of candy on the cruise ship. We actually had to leave some of it on the ship uh, because we knew we were going to be coming here too. We may not need to buy candy for Halloween this year. So we're going to have a lot to give away, but don't tell the girls we said that. They think they're going to keep all of it. There's Carthay Circle with all the projections on it and the purple trees that are lit up for Halloween. Super spooky. Oh, we got Merlin over there dancing like a silly fool. Looks like blue fairies over there as well. You're too kind, yes. Have a wonderful scene. That was fun seeing Merlin dance around like a silly guy. We are headed towards Villains Grove. It was fun doing some tree trails. We passed Ernesto de la Cruz, which we definitely want to see. And that's right outside of Avengers Campus, but the line was really long. So we're going to head back there later. It's time to go to Villains Grove. So excited for this one. We're walking through Grizzly Peak area. See the monorail behind me? <laughs> That's awesome. We were walking through Grizzly Peak area. We were pretty much almost at Villains Grove. And then we saw another tree trail and it's Maleficent. And he said it was about a five, 10 minute wait. So we've got to say hi to Maleficent. What with the forces of evil you are? Yes. I admire that enthusiasm. You look great for your age. For my age. <laughs> yeah. Just how old do you think I am? And act so wisely. 46. You take that back. <laughs> it is not me that needs the beauty rest, my dear. Oh. Uh oh. Are you yet 
16. Oh, no! <laughs> well, then on the dawn of your 16th birthday, you shall prick your finger on one of these spinning wheels. Fall asleep. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, deeply asleep. Thank yeah. you. You should be thanking me, my dear. A good night's rest is hard to come by these days. Well, the girls were getting quite snarky with uh, Maleficent, talking about how old she looks and that she hasn't got any sleep in a while. Now Maleficent knows how I feel. Yes. Snarky teenagers. Ugh, the worst. Whoa, it is smoky in here. This is so cool. We just did Villains Grove and we're on another tree trail. Villains Grove was awesome. It was really, really cool how they designed that and set that up with all the different villains. It's amazing all the projections and all the lights everywhere and the effects. It was so fun to just kind of take a guess at who the villains were until you saw like it become more obvious. Well, a pine cone almost fell on us. That's okay. <laughs> I just miss her so much. Sure you do. Now you and I both know that what you just said and how you said it was very wrong. <laughs> right? How old are you? Dear. A lady. Know. Daddy, that's Daddy, that's Daddy. You and I both know that, right? Can I guess? Daddy, you and I both know that, right? Sure. 97. Dear. So was Mother Gothel really nice? Was she a really nice, loving, caring mom type figure? She kidnapped Rapunzel. Did what? that say nice to you? Kira, did she give Alyssa good advice? She said always listen to your mother. But then at the same time I feel like now I can't tell my daughter to listen to an evil hag. villain, an evil tag. But she should still listen to me. I agree. I think we did enough treat trails for now. We're gonna hit up Soren because there is no wait. Look at this line. That is incredible. And our goal is to not do too many rides, but definitely want to do some. Alyssa's got her favorite chicken sandwich here at Pimtest Kitchen. 
Yeah. It's the big giant oversized chicken sandwich. Lindsay got her big giant pretzel. It's her favorite thing with the beer cheese. It's really good. I hope you don't like it too much though. I got the pimini sandwich. This thing is so good. Probably my favorite thing here aside from the beer cheese pretzel. Now we're in Hollywood Studios. Who are we gonna see, Alyssa? We're go about to see Cruella for the um, treat trail. Is she your favorite villain? Yeah. Awesome. like our clothes because as soon as we came up she saw the fashion sense was lacking and she just turned around and left. Yeah. Well listen I think we'll have to be back to see Corella. She just you know went and left. Well, our candy. Good job looking at the positive. Honestly I've heard of that happening before where people are waiting in line for the tree trails to interact with the villains and then they leave. I think that's the first time that's actually happened to us though. We were leaving Hollywood Studios area and now we're going into the Hyperion Theater where Mad Madam Mim is residing. And we've been told there is no wait. Maybe she'll stay out and hang out with us, unlike Cruella. Love that candy cauldron. Mad Madam Mim is missing. Madam Mim, M I A. Mad Madam Mim is M I A. I like that one. Guys, that has the Hogwarts houses over there. Um, that's not Hogwarts, Lens. So. Slither, there's Gryffindor, and then there's some other weird animals. It's a tiger. No, the squirrel can be the badger. The squirrel has Hogwarts on the brain. They got some more candy, so there's that. Girls really, really want to go on Monsters After Dark again. Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters Breakout was fantastic again. We are back in line for Cruella. Fingers crossed, she stays out here this time. The girls love this soundtrack. So we saw Corella. She hung out with us this time and stayed out there. Lindsay asked if Corella had seen her puppy. What'd she say? Oh, maybe my dog and your dog met up. But that sounds a little bit sussy to me. I don't know about you, but. Yeah, that does sound a little sussy to me too. By the way, behind us, fireworks over at Disneyland. I think right now we're gonna head, try to head over to Pixar Pier, catch a little bit of the parade, and go see Dr. Facilier, and probably ride the Incredit Coaster one more time. I mean, look, I called him Thor. I said hi, Loki. I mean, hi, Thor. I'm like, Alyssa, you excited to meet Loki? Loki is like Alyssa's Thank favorite you. Marvel character. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Um, I am Alyssa. Nice to meet you, Alyssa. You enjoying this evening so far? It's a very, I'll say interesting. It's been an interesting night. You know, people are going up and down and screaming in there. That yeah, you. that was one of me. That you all appear to be of... human, and in my experience. Alyssa's a little starstruck right now. What sort of power you have? Show me strength, show me power. Show me... You're the best, and I don't care what anyone says, you're a good guy. Yeah. What are people saying? <laughs> now I'm just going to be thinking about this all night. Thank you for that. So we're walking the parade route. The parade's about to start. Carrie and I are just waving. Aren't these what? Oh, see, there's just people waving at us. So the Frightfully Fun Parade is just about to start. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit and catch some of it while the girls are hitting up in Credit Coaster. Then I'll probably join them and we might try to do one more thing before the party's over. It's 10 o'clock, we've got one hour left. So I think we're gonna try to do a few more things, whatever we can fit into the rest of our time here. The night goes by so fast. The parade's about to start, so let's go check it out.
with the uh, parade. I didn't stay for the whole thing because it's really long and it's 10, 15. Want to meet up with the fam and see what they're up to. I think they might still be on the Incredicoaster. I don't know if we're gonna do any more treat trails. We've done a bunch of them tonight, which has been great. I just walked by Sid and he had like no one in line. I felt really bad for him. There's still a lot of people here, still a lot of things going on. We really wanted to do more party specific things this year and we have, which is great. We also wanna hit up some rides because we don't know the next time we're gonna be at Disneyland. It might be a little while, so maybe do a photo opportunity if we can find one and then call it a night. It's been a really fun night so far. I just got a text from Carrie. They're still on the Incredicoaster, probably for the fourth or fifth time. So I'm gonna try to find them and connect with them and see what we wanna do the rest of our time here. So I just caught the girls on video as they start the ride where the launch is. That was super fun seeing them on the ride. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've always been on the ride with them. So I'm gonna wait for them to finish the ride, join up with them, and we got about 40 minutes left. We'll see what happens. I feel so bad for Sid, he's, uh, he's so alone. We love you, Sid! You sound like my dad. <laughs> he said you sound like my dad. Oh, wow. It's Dr. Facilier. Did you want to make a deal? My, my shop is closed very soon. Oh wait, no, you're a child. I don't make deals with children. Okay. Children are people too! Okay. Sure. At Oogie Boogie Bash, there really is not enough time to do everything you want. And one of the things we really wanted to do was go uh, do the treat trail with Ernesto De La Cruz from Coco. Stop by to watch him sing for a little bit, and that was really fun, but uh, the girls are just winding down. They are getting a little tired, and they did not want to really wait in that line for him. So it was kind of fun to see him. We're going to find a picture spot, and then I think we're going to head out of the park. We ended our night at Oogie Boogie Bash, and I got Alyssa here with me. Lindsay was super tired. Carrie went back uh, with the room with her, but Alyssa wants to help me end the vlog. Yeah. Well, there goes the monorail. <laughs> what was your favorite part about Oogie Boogie Bash? Either Monsters After Dark or the treat trails and meeting the villains. Yeah, meeting the villains was really cool. Uh, that was fun. one of my favorite parts is just interacting with the villains and just connecting with them and just saying snarky things and see what they say back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Monsters After Dark was great. That was the girl's first time doing that ride. Yep. And you guys rode in Credit Coaster a bunch of times. Which one do you like better? Well, that's really hard. Yeah. Like if you're really seeking some thrill, then like the like more thrilling one is probably um, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. Breakout. Yeah. Yeah, they're both fun. Yeah, they're really fun. Yep. And it's cool that they retheme Guardians of the Galaxy for Halloween time. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime that we upload a new video. So it's good night and goodbye from Disneyland. Bye. See ya. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye. Bye.